Hey guys, what is going on? Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals. Suns vs Clippers. Suns are on their home court, but this is a win or go home game for the Clippers. But they have been in this situation before. The Clippers have been in these win or go home situations before, and they have obviously won those series. But currently, it is the end of the first quarter, and the Clippers are playing like this is a win or go home game. Marcus Morris and Reggie Jackson are really having great games for the Clippers. The Clippers, they got out to a really, really fast start. The good news for the Suns, though, is Devin Booker is looking like Devin Booker again. He already has 11 points in this game, but the Suns... They got to really get that offense going because this Clippers offense got, got out to a really hot start, a really quick start. So the Suns, they really got to get going now before, you know, it gets too late. Even though it's the end of the first quarter, they're, they're down 10 right now. I forgot to say the score. They're down 10 right now. The score is 36-26. Um, they're down 10. So there's definitely time to make up that score, but they got to get going now in the second quarter. It's halftime and oh my gosh, that Devin Booker buzzer beater three point shot. That was nice. That was smooth. I mean, that was just a really nice shot. The three point shots, they're falling for the Suns, but the Clippers currently lead 59-52. So the field goal percentage for this game has just been much better than last game. I mean, the offense in this game for both teams has just been much better because we all know that last game. It was just crazy how low scoring that last game was. The Clippers, the three-point shots aren't really falling for them, although they do have a really high field goal percentage. That's because Marcus Morris has 20 points, and he's just really backing in and like getting his bucket. Like He's hitting really hard shots. He's doing like these turnaround fadeaway jump shots kind of close to the paint, and they're hard shots, and every time he shoots it, I'm like, oh my gosh, is he gonna make this? And it just and it's just nothing but net. Like literally, the dude is having an insane game. He just like can't miss. I know he's probably missed a bucket. People might be like in the comments, but he has missed. Like I know people might be saying in the comments, oh, but he has missed. I'm just saying like, what is it? What is it like a saying? Like a like what is it like a? I'm I'm forgetting the word. What is it called when you say something? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just saying like he can't miss. Like. Generally speaking, like as a saying, as a phrase, just like the phrase, he can't miss. He's having a fantastic game. Devin Booker, he's really heating up. And another guy who has really been good from three, although he only hit two shots and both of them were three, is Cam Johnson. We know he can shoot the ball, but I'm just saying keep an eye on Cam Johnson in this game. He comes off the bench, but the three-point shots are really working for Phoenix, so I feel like they should try to get as many three-point shots as they can because I'm kind of surprised how quiet of a game of a game Aiden has had um, I haven't checked the box score for his numbers, so I don't know his numbers right off the top of my head but he's been so good this series I feel like he's been kind of quiet this game so that kind of surprised me but Marcus Morris wow just what a game he's having a guy who was on the Knicks last season um, so shout out to him uh, just a crazy game really he's having quite a game but I'm really excited for the second half because this has been a good one thus far. Much better than the last game because I love high scoring basketball games. End of the third quarter and oh my gosh, Paul George has just taken over this game. He had 20, 20 points in the third quarter. The Clippers lead 91-78, I believe. I just looked at the score and now I just forgot it. Um, I think it's 91-78, but Basically, they've scored more points in three quarters this game than they scored in all four quarters last game. So this Clippers offense has definitely bounced back. I mean, 91, 91 points in three quarters compared to last game. I mean, that's a huge, huge improvement. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be a big comeback for the Suns if they're going to come back in this game. But the Clippers really respond to adversity. Like, the Clippers really play well. When it's win or go home, the Clippers really ball out. This game is over. The Clippers win 116-102. So this series isn't over yet. And wow, what a performance by Paul George. 41 points. 41 points. Paul George with just an amazing bounce back game. Really, the Clippers as a team just bounced back tonight in such a big way because they were so bad last game. I mean, 
both teams didn't play great last game offensively, but the Clippers just didn't look good offensively at all last game. And tonight, they came out, and they were great offensively, and they didn't slow down. They kept that lead, and yeah, there were times where the Suns, you know, like tied the game, I believe, and were right back in it, but the Clippers were able to hold on after that hot start and, you know, win this game. And it's really, it's really interesting because no offense to any player on the Clippers, but the Clippers, I would say, are the team in the playoffs right now with, I guess, the the least star power with Kawhi Leonard out I would say the Clippers right now have the least star power because you know the Suns they got they got um Chris Paul obviously Devin Booker the Hawks they have Trey Young um John Collins I don't know if he's a star yet but he's solid but you know Trey Young is a star and then there's the Bucks with Chris Middleton and Giannis like Paul George yes he's a superstar but when I think of the Clippers, I really think of him as the main superstar, and I just don't think of any of the other players besides Kawhi, who isn't playing, as a superstar. So I'm not saying this as an insult to the Clippers, I'm saying this as like a congratulations, I guess, because they played a really gritty game. You look at this team on paper, and it seems like the Suns are better on paper, but it's not about what the team is on paper, obviously. It's about how the team plays when they're out on the floor. And the Clippers proved that tonight. They proved that, yeah, we might not have the best team on paper, but when we play together, we play hard and we leave it all out on the floor, as cliche as that sounds. But it's the truth. It really is the truth. It was win or go home, and the Clippers played like that. They really rose to the occasion, and they just showed tonight that they they didn't want to go home. I mean, Reggie Jackson, Marcus Morris, all these guys just really had a fantastic game. Just the Clippers as a whole. It just it's just such a gritty win. Like it's just like I'm saying, with the whole thing with the superstars and everything, I honestly did not expect the Clippers to win tonight. I just want to be totally honest. I thought the Suns were going to win this game on their home court. It seemed like they had so much momentum after that really weird last game like the last game was just weird and I don't know it just seemed like the Suns had a lot of momentum after that game because that whole game was just I don't know it was so odd um so I really expected the Suns to win tonight but the Clippers came out and just this was a big win this was a big win like the end of this game wasn't super close so just really really impressive stuff from Paul George I mean 41 points and he started out this game slow too that's the thing this team they they stayed hot the whole game, but it was different players stepping out stepping up. Like Marcus Morris was hot to start this game. Paul George, he had a kind of slow start to this game, right? But then coming out of halftime, Paul George heated up. Like this whole team, it's really it's really impressive what they did. Um I'm not gonna go and say, oh, I think the Clippers are winning this series now, but I would not be surprised if this series went to seven games. Before today's game, I would be surprised if this series went to seven games, right? But now after this game, I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised if this series went to seven games because, I don't know, the Clippers, when they're under pressure, they just play well. It's like the Clippers like to play under pressure like this. So the good news, like I said, for Phoenix fans is, you know, Devin Booker looks more like Devin Booker than he has the past few games, so that's a good sign. But I don't know. Like I said, the Clippers, when it's winner go home, they're tough to beat, and now the Clippers are going to be on their home court for Game 6. So yeah, I'm going to have a reaction to that game on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that tomorrow night. We're going to be reacting. I don't know why I said where, it's just me here, but I guess I'm including you, the viewers, in the where. But tomorrow night, it's Bucks vs. Hawks going to be a reaction to that up. So check that out if you want to. I appreciate you staying all the way to the end of this video. It truly means a lot. I appreciate you clicking on this video just to, you know, begin with. I really appreciate all you guys who have subscribed, who are commenting down below, all that stuff. Like, I know I'm rambling on, but I was thinking about that today. I was like, I don't feel like I say that enough. I really don't feel like I say how much I appreciate you guys enough because it's just been so much fun this postseason with the reactions and stuff and just hearing everyone's takes and the comments and all that. So I appreciate all of you. Drop a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below, you know, let me know what you think of this series. How many games do you think this series is gonna go? Do you think the Clippers have a chance to win this series? And if you're not already, feel free to subscribe. Peace out, guys.